Also this new time, another school day canceled in the Warwick School Department and in that district. On Eyewitness News this morning, we told you how Warwick Vets Junior High canceled classes all as this conflict continues between teachers and administrators over a contract. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joining us live from the, uh, Warwick now with the very latest. Patrick, good afternoon. Well, the count from the superintendent's office, 59 out of 91 staffers out, as you say, forcing the closure of vets, just as we saw with Pilgrim High School. That was this past Friday. Last night, as we take you to video from that, the War Teachers Union announced an earlier taken unanimous no confidence vote in Superintendent Philip Thornton and School Committee Chairwoman Bethany Furtado. Last night's school committee meeting with a significant union turnout, it grew raucous. District officials have called these two rounds of mass staff absence is sick outs. Now the union has said there is no official approval behind these moves. Mayor Scott Evadesian says he takes the union president at her word on that. And so we asked the mayor about another school now with no classes and what he says to parents upset their children are being implicated. I'm concerned with the tone that it has taken in the last week um, and I'm asking for cooler heads to prevail. We have uh, the next mediation session here in this office um, a week from today. I share their frustration and I apologize for inconvenience that any family has gone through. The only real answer is a new contract and to have people be willing to come to the table and get that done. I want action. Um, you know, there's a message there. That's why you take a, a public no conference vote, but I want action. Staffers have been working without a contract for two years. Uh, Pilgrim High will have an added day at the end of the school year. It looks, and the mayor confirms, that that will be the same case uh, for vets. We also received word from the Rhode Island Department of Education this noontime telling us that department is monitoring the situation, saying it has informed Warwick it will not issue any waivers here. They will have to make these days up. And as you see, the gears are in motion to do just that. We'll have more as our coverage continues from Warwick. Live in Warwick this noontime, I'm Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.